Hello everyone, welcome to the world of continuous improvement and learning. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma, Agile and other continuous improvement methodologies. Today we are going to talk about what is Sprint in Scrum or Agile methodologies. Well, Sprint is a short time boxed activity. During this time, a Scrum team works to complete a set amount of work. During a Sprint, usable and potential releasable product increment is created. For example, suppose team has to create a website. In Sprint 1, they will create the front page where company logo is displayed, company icons are displayed and header and footer are displayed. What I mean is, after this sprint, there is a usable product which can be tested by the customer. In a sprint, there are following things that has to be done. Number one is sprint planning. Number two is daily scrums. Number three is the development work. Number four is the sprint review. And number five is the sprint retrospective. Let's get into the details of these points. So what is sprint planning? Sprint planning is a time box activity to a maximum of one month sprint. Duration of a sprint can be from one week to four weeks. However, most of the companies prefer two weeks or three weeks of sprints. Sprint planning answers the following question. Number one, what can be delivered in the increment resulting from the upcoming sprint? Number two, what will be required to deliver the increment? Next is daily scrum. The daily scrum is a 15 minutes time boxed event. It is a 15 minutes event, not more than 15 minutes. In my experience, some of the teams have extended this meeting to more than 15 minutes, even to half an hour and to one hour also. That is not recommended by scrum. It is a time boxed 15 minutes event. So this event should be held daily as well. So one of the problems that I see that if there is no update, teams don't do this meeting. This meeting has to be done daily. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is Eight Steps to Problem Solving, which talks about Six Sigma concepts. And my second book is Continuous Improvement, The Lean Way, which talks about the lean concepts. So daily scrum meeting focuses mainly on three topics. Number one, what did I do yesterday? What will I do today? And what I see as an impediment to meet the sprint goal? If there are any impediments that are listed in this particular meeting and then they are solved for later. Next is the development work. Team develops the product or the software as is agreed in the planning meeting. The next most critical activity is sprint review. A sprint review is held at the end of the sprint to inspect the increment. The development team demonstrates the work that has been done and then they answers the question about the increment. The product owner also discusses the product backlog as it stands and it also projects the next target and the delivery dates based on the progress till date. Last but not the least is sprint retrospective. Under sprint retrospective, team identifies the major items that went well and the potential improvements. All these potential improvements help team to plan the next sprint better. It is also important to do the retrospective of every activity or event that you are doing. But in Scrum, it is specifically mentioned that we have to do the sprint retrospective so that we can improve in the future. Inspect how the last sprint went with regards to people, relationship, process and tools. Understanding these four aspects will help in the future sprint planning. So friends, this is it for this video. I hope that you were able to understand what is sprint and what all activities are covered in a sprint. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your learner friends. I will see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is Eight Steps to Problem Solving, which talks about Six Sigma concepts. And my second book is Continuous Improvement, The Lean Way, which talks about the lean concepts.